it going guys in this video i'm quickly going to review the new software update of tizen 4 that has just been released for gear s3 frontier by samsung now this software update uh, has been rolling out for the last few weeks now i'll show you that i'm running tizen uh, I did make a video about it a few days ago on how to update your software so if you go into about watch and we'll go into software as you can see I'm running Tizen 4.0.0.2 uh, with this software update uh, Samsung has brought the Gear S3 Frontier very close to uh, the new Galaxy Watch and it's very uh, unlike Samsung to release software updates for their devices, older devices. But uh, that being said, like Gear S3 Frontier is still a very remarkable watch and uh, packs a pretty decent uh, processor. So um, I'm really happy that they released the software update. So anyway, let's get into what's new in this software update. The very first thing that I want to uh, mention is that the whole look and feel of this new software it's just so much smoother compared to the older uh, uh, Tizen 3.0 this one is just running so much smoother even when you're doing the watch face changes it's um, much much faster compared to the older uh, Tizen 3.0 so I'm really um, happy with that because, and if you have been using the Gear S3 uh, for a while and running on 3.0 you would uh, you would know what I mean because the whole experience was a little bit laggy uh, but with this new software update they have uh, managed to fix that uh, the second thing would be they've added some new widgets um, they for related to fitness there we go so if you go in there and you can probably see as so you got a whole lot of Samsung health widgets there so if you're a health freak you know into fitness you I'm, I'm sure you will appreciate uh, these vid these widgets and they also have some more workout modes uh, compared to the older software um, the other thing they have changed is in settings so they have categorized the settings now so if you go in there as you can see so they have uh, made, made different categories uh, to make it a little bit easier for you to navigate through the, uh, the settings. Now talking about the third feature that would be under advanced settings. So they have added a theater and a sleep mode. So if you scroll down here, uh, theater mode. So what, what's theater mode? Theater mode is when if you're going into a cinema and you can turn on theater mode and as you can see it says keep your watch silent and screen off mute all alerts alarms and sound uh, system sound so it's basically gonna turn your watch into a completely um, uh, you know silent mode you won't even listen to your hear your alarm because you're in a theater so if you can turn that on and then you also have a good night mode so good night mode is uh, obviously as it might sound that to prevent disturbances while you're sleeping mute all alerts except for alarms and system sounds turn off watch always on and wake up gesture so these are the two new uh, features that they've added um, and uh, another change they have uh, made is in the messages so I might uh, put my watch away because I don't want to show my private messages here so I've just opened a text message here. I won't show you the whole text message, but as you can see, just underneath the text message, now you have a capability of answering the, the message straight away. Whereas in the Tizen 3, you actually had to open a new window to reply them. So if you keep scrolling down from your message, then you got all these templates. So which makes it uh, a lot easier to answer to your text messages. And now Samsung has also added over a thousand emojis. So you can click here and as you can see you got loads and loads of emojis that you can uh, use to uh, apply your messages with so that's pretty cool and uh, addition to that you still have your voice you know typing there where if you click on the mic and you can also uh, write your messages if you click here and you can still use your watch to you know just type your messages like that And the next feature is in the in the phone call uh, in the phone app so while you're in the phone app you can also call your uh, phone as usual and you can also send text messages from there but uh, now this watch has multitasking so while you're on a phone call you can actually go back 
and open other other uh, apps so yeah it brings it very close to the uh, to the phones nowadays and uh, samsung also changed the dialer whereas it used to be uh, the squares uh, of numbers now you have this um, round dialer which makes it a lot easier to uh, type it's they're using the same format for uh, the the passwords if you're using samsung pay so i don't know if you can i can show you right now so there we go see i'm trying to get into samsung pay by pressing and holding this top button and it's asking me for the pin whereas it used to be like little squares but now it's got it's using more of the screen and makes it a lot easier to type in the numbers so overall there are not many major changes but there are some few significant changes in this new software update and the whole experience is a little bit better than before uh, so I'm, I'm glad samsung is getting on board with uh, uh, updating their older devices because samsung has been notorious for uh, neglecting their older devices even some of their very capable phones with good processors i mean after about a year or so samsung just stops uh, releasing any support for them uh, not a year or so maybe a couple of years um, so there are a lot of phones out there they could run a lot better software but Samsung just refuses to uh, release software updates for them because obviously they want to sell their new phones so it was really surprising move by Samsung to release this software update for this watch which I'm pretty happy about hopefully Samsung would take this on board with all of their devices and start releasing more software updates and I guess they had have to start doing that because there are other companies out there there are a lot um, uh, quicker on their software updates and um, making their devices more updated with the times so anyways guys this was a quick review of the new Tizen 4 um, so far I quite like it and uh, if you guys have any other questions you guys let me know uh, and uh, i'll try to answer them as soon as possible uh, until then i'll uh, see you guys in the next video bye bye oh, tell me, do you feel the same?